Welcome fellow educators to my video tutorial on how to effectively use a slideshow tool Prezi. My name is Greta Oakley and I am currently studying my undergraduate degree in secondary education at Griffith University. Prezi is a capturing presentation tool which incorporates all the basic features found in PowerPoint. Today I will cover the basic features of Prezi, how to add an image and video, show you an example and give you some PowerPoint tips. So let's get started. If you don't already have an account, click the Get Started tab on your home screen. There are different types of accounts, but today we'll use a free account. Simply add in your details. If you already have an account, click Login. Enter your details and click Login. This will take you to your home page where you can see your other published Prezi's or others you are working on. Today we will make a new Prezi, so simply click on the box that says New Prezi. Now we will choose our template. There are quite a few different templates to suit your personal needs. There is also an option to create your own personalised blank Prezi by clicking Start Blank Prezi. This option, however, can be tricky for beginners. So today I will demonstrate Prezi using a template called Input Output. To select a Prezi, simply click on your chosen template and click Use Template. Here is our Prezi. Down the sidebar you have your different slides which are the different boxes in your template. The slide up the top shows the overall Prezi. You can also edit the path of your slideshow by simply dragging the slide to your preferred order. Up the top of your screen you will have a present button which shows your finished product as others will see it, an undo and redo button, a save button, a menu button, a share button to share with others and an exit button. You also have frames and arrows which can insert different sorts of frames into your Prezi. You can to insert any media, click Insert, we'll insert an image, go Select File, click on an image and open. You can resize by using the Hand button and also using the Add button to enlarge the image and the Subtract button to decrease the image's size. You can also resize by using the corners of the box and you can click and drag to wherever you want. You can also insert a YouTube video, so we must paste the link. Let's go to YouTube, get our link, Command C, back to our Prezi, Command V and insert. You can also resize your video as well. There are also different themes which can be quite effective as well. Let's add some text. So we'll go to our second box. Click on the click to add text and add in education. So the toolbar above can allow you to change the font of your title to increase or decrease the size, to add different color, bold, italicize, add a background color, can allow bullet points or where to position your text. There is also an option for you to add more slides and there's the different types there. Also a handy hint is to be able to zoom in and out so you have your home screen which is like the slide up the top there. And you can zoom in using your mouse pad or using the side. 
The Krebs cycle is a complex process to learn, but by putting it in the Prezi, it allows students to understand a visual process of the Krebs cycle. It also allows students to stay engaged in the content being taught. So here is a Prezi I made earlier. So this is what your Prezi will look like once it's been published. So it's really effective how it's able to transition from each slide and how it can how the background can actually like impact what students are learning. So the images are still clear, which is a good thing to do in a presentation. Students can also, up to 10 students can collaborate um, using Prezi, which is awesome. So the YouTube video also plays pretty well with Prezi, um, quite effective and synchronized with the presentation. So Prezi is an awesome um, presentation tool, but some just some quick presentation tips. The minimum words you keep to a slide, the better, as it keeps the audience engaged. You should limit the amount of sound effects you have, um, as that can distract the audience. Text and images must be clearly visible, so the Prezi allows for images and text to be seen quite clearly. Consistent use of fonts and styles. No more than three concepts per paragraph. And you must always close strongly. So I hope today's tutorial has been able to help you grasp an understanding of how to use a Prezi. If you have any questions, queries, or any resources you would like to share, please leave them down in the comments section below. Have fun, guys.